Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech and my name is Angelo and in today's video I want to show you something Nvidia has been lying to us all this time as it happens DLSS does not need Tensor Core to run and you can run DLSS on any GPU because there is a new mod that has unlocked DLSS for everyone but before I explain to you the situation I want you to you know that the 80% of people that are watching this video are not subscribed to the channel? And I'm not quite sure as to why. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's free. You help me a lot. And I can keep you bringing more content like this. So please subscribe for uh, the channel and to help me. You can count that as your good action of the day. Okay, having said that, let me explain the situation. Last night, it was very late. I was... Um, uh, I was, you know, browsing through YouTube when a video caught my attention. It says DLSS unlocker, DLSS for everyone. Okay, uh, that caught my attention. I click and I started watching. So during the video, the person that was explaining that Nvidia has been lying to us because DLSS doesn't need the Tensor Core to run. DLSS can run on any GPU because if you don't have the Tensor Core, then what is going to happen is that the um, the DLSS uh, algorithm is going to be running on your normal CUDA cores or uh, compute units or whatever GPU you have. So that really sent to me like, wow, is this true? So has NVIDIA been lying to us all this time about tensor cores and DLSS and all of this stuff? Oh no, I need to test this myself. So it was very late yesterday and I put my GTX 1060 on my test bench, downloaded the, bench, the, the mod and tested on Horizon Forbidden West and a couple of other games. And the, so you install this right on the game and then you start the game and I was using a GTX 1060 and oh my God, yes, DLSS was available. I was able to activate it and not just activate it, it worked. I could see the frames improving and I was like, oh my God, this is just insane. Then I activated the DLSS frame generation and it also worked on a GTX 1060. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Is this true? Did the, the Nvidia lie to us all this time? about the LSS and frame generation needed tensor cores and optical flow and all of this? Look, I'm sure that maybe optical flow and other things can run on any GPU and Nvidia, you know, is lying in the sense of no, we are not going to make this run. I am not 100% sure about that and I don't want to defend Nvidia. But of course, when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, this, this is incredible. But I needed to be sure, okay? I needed to uh, actually understand what was happening. And because of the video this person made, um, you know, he claimed that you should buy the faster raster uh, GPU and not buy GPU because of their um, capabilities or technologies. Meaning that if you wanted like, uh, if you bought like an RTX 4000 series because of frame generation, you should have not because you could have bought like an RX 7800 XT because at the end of the day it's faster in raster and because then DLSS works in rasterization anyway so you will have the best of both worlds. So saying something like that is very misleading, right? Uh, or at least if it, it was, it will be not misleading. He was telling the truth, but at the end, what actually is happening? And let me explain is that. I was running the, both DLSS and frame generation on the GTX 1060, but they didn't look quite right, right? It, it didn't seem to me like it was frame generate, like it was DLSS. The reconstruction wasn't as good. So I thought, well, maybe, you know, it's not as fast or it's not something is happening. But the truth is that it was as fast at, as FSR. OK, no difference whatsoever. And I said, this cannot be true. If you are if you make an algorithm and specialize on using like tensor cores that are very specific cores to do something and you run it through a, a more a much slower system, like we know RT cores do for ray tracing, then it cannot have the same performance. 
So what's going on here? So I I recorded a te a 1440p fake DLSS on a GTX 1060, 1440p uh, FSR on the same 1060 using uh, ultra performance to make the defects of the reconstruction more obvious. But then I ran 1080p, okay, DLSS real ultra performance, and I compared them. And as you can see, it's clear that the 1080p image at ultra performance DLSS looks better than the uh, GTX 1060 uh, ultra performance at 1440p. So clearly something was going on. And the, you can see that the FSR version of this doesn't look in the same way as the uh, other two, okay? Um, so the defects are different. So I was still, what's going on here? Um, because when you run XCSS, for example, on an Intel GPU, it looks very good. But when you're running XCSS on a different GPU that is not Intel, then it goes through a different uh, path. I think it's called DP4 or D4P. I don't remember, the, but it's one, it, it, I think it's DP4, uh, it's called. So when it's running through that path, the XCSS is not as good as running on the Intel IEA, AI um, cores. And also, the other problem I was seeing is that when you run XCSS on some GPUs, it will actually run slower than running a uh, native resolution. And the reason for that is because the DP D4P or DP4 pad uh, is quite expensive. So you need like a good GPU to be able to use that in order to, for your performance to not be affected that much, okay? So, okay, so having said that, I, I, I had to understand what was happening and now I, I know. So I went to look for the uh, mod uh, and understand and read and go through all the paper and all the readme that is included. And no, there is no DLSS running on your GT1060 or on your AMD car. There is no DLSS at all running there. What is actually happening is that this mod, what it does is cheat okay is make your game think that your gpu supports the lss which is not a bad thing because there are some games that have the lss frame generation but not fsr frame generation or some games that only have the lss but not fsr frame reconstruct uh, yeah frame reconstruction so so there are cases, the legitimate cases, where you would like to have those possibilities, okay? So, for example, let's say you have an RTX 3000 and you have a game like DLSS that has DLSS and DLSS frame generation. Of course, you can use DLSS, but not frame generation because you need an RTX 4000, right? Okay, so this, this thing cheats and makes your game think that you actually have a capable DLSS 3 frame generation car or a capable DLSS 2 car in case of a GTX 10,000 series or an AMD or Intel GPU. But also internally, when you activate these options, they are changing and they are not actually running DLSS. For frame generation, it goes through FSR every single time. So what you're doing is activating internally DLSS frame generation, but then the mod uh, through a DLA is intercepting the calls and transforming them to frame generation from FSR. So no, no DLSS 3 running. And for DLSS 2 image reconstruction, the software, what it does is running it through FSR or XCSS. And I'm not the one saying this, is the actual owner I'm making, uh, uh, the creator of the mod. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how it decides when to use FSR or XCSS, to be honest with you. I don't know what is, it's not explained it. It just said I'm using FSR or XCSS. So the LSS go through that path. It never really run the LSS. So I think it's important for me to clarify this because many people will probably make the same mistake and you may see other videos about people saying that now the LSS can be run on any other GPU. And while you can activate the LSS, okay, giving you that option, which is still a good thing, you have to be clear that it's not actually going through the LSS and that the quality you're going to get is nowhere near to the LSS um, quality because it's going to use different okay, components, different technologies in order to achieve that. This mod, all it's doing is basically 
tricking the software, the game, to make the game believe that you have an actual DLSS capable GPU and then it's going to make those DLSS calls and transform them into either FSR3, FSR2 or XESS. But it's never actually running real DLSS because it makes no sense. Of course, if you have an RTX 2000 card, then what happens is that the normal DLSS is going to be running as DLSS and then the DLSS frame generation is going to be running as FSR3 internally. So I just want to leave that on the table very clear so people don't get into this believing Nvidia cheated on me. Now, Nvidia may have cheated and maybe frame generation works perfectly fine on RTX 2000 and 3000. Maybe the LSS runs perfectly fine on any GTX 10,000 without tensor cores. That could be, I don't know, but this software does not do that, okay? And that's the important part. This software is not doing that and DLSS at the moment cannot run on not GP on not RTX 2000, 3000 and frame generation 4000 C GPUs, okay? All this software does is, is a layer of APO, a API calls, okay? That are going to transform one thing into another. Hope this clarifies this because and I know this is going to get you know drawn there by other people and many people could get confused. So I hope you like this video and as always see you on the next one.